What a beautiful day for gardening. Groovy, could you bring these little broccoli plants to Phoebe? No, Groovy. If you eat them all, there won't be any big broccoli. <laughs> That's better. Phoebe, Groovy, the kids and I want to see your garden. Would you show us? These kids are tomato plants. These delicious tomatoes can be eaten, num num, in a salad. Do you like salads? Believe it or not, these are carrots. Yes, carrots. Phoebe, will you show them to the kids? And what's that? Does anyone know what those veggies are called? Exactly, pumpkins. We play a lot with them at Halloween. <laughs> Quiet, Groovy. Pumpkins are harmless like the rest of the vegetables and also great for our health. Oh, I'm melting. It's too hot. You should protect yourself from the sun before your heads get sunburned. Oh no! Veggies are also hot. Thanks for your straw hat. Nice gesture. But what they really, really need is to get water. The hose is there. Come on. Kids, kids! <laughs> children, children, children! <laughs> if you keep playing, you are going to break the hose. And it's broken. Thanks, Pops. Children, water is a very scarce resource. You can't waste it like that. Pops, can you help me explain why? All the living beings who live on Earth, plants, animals, humans, and some Martians, need water to survive. As more time passes, there is less water on our planet because we consume more than what is produced. This is why it's super important that we take care of the water we have. This is to say we should use it only for essential things like drinking, washing, or watering our gardens without wasting it. Do you understand? You were playing with the water and have forgotten about watering the plants. And the hose is broken now. How can we water this garden in a sustainable way? <laughs> I don't think that will be enough, Phoebe, but I know, I'm sure Groovy can help us. Children, what should Groovy transform into to save the veggies? A watering can? Toothpaste? Or a brush? That's right, kids. Groovy should transform into a watering can to save the veggies. Hmm. <laughs> really?
really good, Phoebe. Closing the tap on time to save water. Look, plants look beautiful now that they've been watered. If they could talk, they would thank you for sure. A day of hard work in the garden leaves you thirsty. But don't forget what you've learned. We have to share water with everyone and never waste it. What a beautiful day to play in the sandbox. <laughs> Groovy, that crab is so cute. Hmm, what smells so good? I'm sure it's something delicious. Watch out! Uh. Broccoli! That's what smelled so good! No, Groovy, you have to wait until everyone is at the table. Why don't you go find Phoebe? Phoebe, lunch is ready! Hurry up, because Groovy is starving! Groovy, you have to help Phoebe get free. <laughs> I think that won't be enough. Hmm, I don't know if any of these transformations will work. Wait, yes, a shovel is just what we need. We can tell how hungry Groovy is by how he runs. What's wrong, Phoebe? Don't you like broccoli? Broccoli tastes great, right, Groovy? Phoebe, that's Phoebe's lunch. Phoebe, broccoli is really healthy. Don't you want to try it? I'm sure you're going to like it. Mm, Pops, help me explain to her how important it is to eat vegetables and fruits. Eating fruits and vegetables like broccoli is really important for our health. Fruits and veggies are our main source of nutrients to be strong and grow without stopping. We should eat five pieces of fruits and veggies a day. Groovy eats more than five. For sure. <laughs> and you kids, do you eat fruits and veggies daily? Phoebe, why won't you even try a little bit of this broccoli? Come on. If you only give it a chance, I'm sure you're going to love it. Right, kids? Oh, Phoebe can't keep cycling because she's starving. Of course you haven't eaten your veggies. Now you have no strength. Wow, Groovy! That broccoli made you super strong. Don't worry, Phoebe. We can fix it later. But now, how are we going to get back home? I know. Groovy can help us. Groovy, can you help us? What should Groovy transform into to bring Phoebe and her broken tricycle home? Into a bouquet of flowers? 
A mop? Or tow truck? That's it. Groovy should transform into a tow truck to get back home. All right, kids. Wow, with this super tow truck, we'll be home in a minute. Look, Groovy, today's your lucky day. There's veggies for dinner, too. I'm sorry, Phoebe. Come on, Phoebe, try it. Surely they're delicious. Daddy cooks really well. See, I'm not lying. Veggies are delicious. I can't believe it. <laughs> she liked them so much that she's also eaten Groovy's dinner. <laughs> Don't worry. Groovy, there's more for you. You can repeat veggies as many times as you want. How well have you eaten dinner? With all these veggies, you'll have energy to play non-stop. What a beautiful day to go to the beach. Haha, <laughs> I love how you use the beach wraps, Groovy. I'm glad you're wearing white clothes. It's important not to get dressed in warm clothes in summer. It's the hottest season and the sun heats up a lot. Hmm, the cooler is too close to the sea. What do you think, kids? Is it a good place to leave it? Oh, are you going to play paddle ball? What a great idea. Ruby, do you know how to play? Sure. Groovy, you have to hit it with the paddle. Exactly, with that one. It's your turn to start. Really good, Groovy. We found your sport. Wow, Phoebe, you're getting sunburned. Haven't you used any sunscreen? Phoebe, you have to use sunscreen, always. It's essential not to get burnt, and you too, Groovy, even if you don't get sunburned easily. Pops, help me explain to them what else they have to do to protect themselves from the sun. In summer, the sun heats up a lot. Every time you go to the beach, the swimming pool, or the park, you have to follow this not to get sunburned. 1. Use sunscreen several times during the day. 2. Use caps or hats. 3. Protect your eyes with sunglasses. And 4. Stay in the shade during the hottest hours. For example, under the umbrella. Have you understood? Very good. Put on sunscreen all over your body. Perfect. Now we need something to cover your head. Great. And what else? Bright, cool sunglasses. You're ready to keep playing. What's wrong? Oh no, the wave stole a cooler with our snacks inside. Oh, uh, the, the sea is dragging it further and further away. I knew Groovy. Our fridge has our favorite snack. Fresh summer fruit. Watermelon, nectarine, melon. We have to get it back. 
Hmm, what can we do? I know, Groovy can help us. Kids, what should Groovy transform into to get the fridge back? A camera? A paddle boat? Or a ball? Really good! Into a paddle boat! Come on, Phoebe! You can do it! You're doing it great! Less is left! Keep moving! Very good! Watch out! A wave! Yay! It's already yours! Now to the beach! Good! You've done it, kids! Now, snack time! Under the umbrella, you can enjoy your snack without getting sunburned. The fresh fruit is the best to recharge your batteries. Isn't it good? What a beautiful day to play at the beach. No, Groovy, you can't just leave the waste there. Even if it's not yours, you should throw it into the container. Awful. The beach is full of garbage. We can't allow it, children. We should do something. Right, Pops? Our planet is in danger because humans won't stop polluting. Garbage can't be thrown anywhere. It must be thrown into the container. Also, we must recycle, throwing each bottle into their container green bottles inside the green container, blue bottles inside the blue container, and red ones inside the red container. Come on, children, let's recycle all together. In which container should these bottles be thrown? Really good, Phoebe. Well done. The blue bottle goes inside the blue container. No, Groovy. The red bottle doesn't go inside the blue container. In which one, children? Exactly. Inside the red one. I have an idea to clean the beach. Why don't we have a competition between Phoebe and Groovy to see who is faster picking up bottles? Do you accept the challenge? The game is very easy. There are five bottles in each field. Phoebe and Groovy have to collect and recycle them correctly. Understood? Ready, set, go. The two players get the bottle. Phoebe dunks her own correctly, but Groovy fails. Oh no, you have to pick it up again. Phoebe takes the lead ahead of Groovy, who has now correctly slammed his bottle. Phoebe goes for her third bottle, while Groovy goes for the second. It seems that the game is decided. Phoebe is going to win unless Groovy does something. Unbelievable! Groovy transforms into an octopus and advances positions. The game is not decided yet. The game is very even. Both players are going to dunk their last bottles, and the result is... Draw! Actually, we have all won because the beach has been cleaned. Thanks, kids. Oh, a giant wave. What's up? The wave has left the beach full of bottles again. Children, we have a problem, a really big one. The sea is full of bottles too. 
What can we do to collect them? Can you think of something? I know! Groovy can help us! What should Groovy transform into to collect the bottles? Pencil? A boat? Or a ball? That's it! Groovy should transform into a boat to collect the bottles. Come on, kids. Let's fish these bottles. Wow, the beach looks beautiful. Now that it's clean, we can continue enjoying this wonderful day. What a great idea. Celebrate it with fresh fruit juice. But kids, what do we have to do when it's finished? Exactly, recycle them. Very well, you have learned the lesson. The trash always to its container. What a beautiful day to play soccer in the garden. Hey Groovy, try to score a goal. <laughs> you have to aim better. What's wrong, kids? The ball is across the street. Children, no! You can't run so close to the road. It's very dangerous. I know, Phoebe, we have to cross the road to pick up the ball, but we need to follow some road safety rules first. Pops, help me explain it. First, look for a crosswalk. White stripes painted on the road surface connecting one side of the road with the other. It's also called zebra crossing because the lines look like zebra stripes. Second, wait until the traffic light marks green for pedestrians. The traffic light is a luminous sign that indicates who has priority to pass. It has two parts, one for cars and one for pedestrians. You have to look for the one with puppets. Red means stop and green means go. So when the light is on, we can cross. Third, look both ways before crossing to be sure no cars are coming. Fourth, wait for the cars to stop completely. All right, ready to cross for the ball? Let's follow the rules of road safety. First, look for a crosswalk. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. No, Groovy, not yet. Second, we have to wait until the traffic light marks green for pedestrians. Green lights is on. Third step, look both sides to be sure no cars are coming. And lastly, wait for the cars to stop completely. Now we are ready to cross the road. Go for the ball! Mission accomplished. We have rescued the ball. Let's go home to continue with the game. We have to cross again. Remember what we've learned. What? The traffic light is broken. Now we can't cross. We need the cars to stop. What can we do, kids? Groovy, will you help us? What should Groovy transform into to cross the road? A baby bottle? A red stop sign? Or a spider? That's right, kids. Groovy should transform into a red stop sign to cross the road. Remember, red means stop, 
When cars see it, they're forced to stop. But always look both ways and never cross if cars are coming. Well done, kids. Let's keep playing. Hey, kids, what's Pop say? Oh, he's right. They've left the door open. Very good, Groovy. Avoid dangerous situations is the best road safety advice. Great. What a beautiful day to play on the swing. Wow, Phoebe knows how to swing by herself. Groovy, why don't you try? It looks like fun. Come on. Ah, really good. Wait, what's that? It's a mole. Where is he going? To his house? Let's learn about animal homes. Does the mole live inside a bush? Haha, <laughs> no. It was just a snail. They live inside their shells, so they're carrying their own house around. And look over there, a spider. They make spider webs to live in and also to catch their prey. Let's continue our way to the mole's house. Look kids, a frog. Frogs live in ponds, so fun. Kids, look at that. The dirt road ends in that hole. That must be his house. Groovy, what are you doing? <laughs> Do you want to see what it looks like? Moles dig burrows that are connected by tunnels. That's why they can appear anywhere in your garden. Wow, it's huge. Pops, where are you going? Look what he's found. A baby bird is about to be born. Oh no, it's going to fall. Thank God you caught it. How is it? Hi, little bird. Oh, it can't fly yet. It's just a baby. We have to help him go home. Do you know where it lives? Birds live inside a nest. They build their nest over the trees. But its nest is too high. How can we get over them? What should Groovy transform into to help that little bird? A hula hoop? A camera? Or a fire truck? That's right, kids. Groovy should transform into a fire truck. Really good, Groovy. It's almost there. Welcome home, little bird. Hey kids, do you want to play a game? Where do animals live? Look, these are the animals we've found. A mole, a snail, a spider, a frog, and a bird. Do you know where they all live? Where does the mole live? In a burrow, a shell, a spider web, a pond, or a nest? 
Really good. Moles live inside burrows. Where does the bird live? In a shell? A spider web? A pond? Or a nest? That's it. Birds live in a nest over the trees. And the snail? Where does it live? In a shell? A spider web? Or a pond? Right. Snails live inside their shells. What about the frog? Where does it live? In a spider web? Or a pond? That's right. Frogs live in ponds. There's only one animal left, the spider. And sure, spiders live in spider webs. Let's go through them all again. Moles live inside burrows. Birds live in nests over the trees. Snails live inside their shells. Frogs live in ponds. And spiders live in spider webs. Really good. It's a beautiful day to play at the yard. What's that, Phoebe? A ball? Kids, why don't we count how many times we can hit the ball without falling down? This way we can practice the numbers. Ready? Groovy, you have to hit the ball. <laughs> Let's try again. Place yourself in a circle. Pops, you too. One. Oh, haha, <laughs> Groovy. The ball has to get to Phoebe. Try hitting it harder. One, two. You hit it too high. We can do better for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Phoebe. You should pass the ball to your friends. You have to share. It's more fun that way. Really good. Come on, Groovy. Try it again. Oops. Ha <laughs> ha. Not that hard. Oh, no. The ball is stuck in the fireplace. Well, don't worry. I'm sure Pops can get it. What's wrong, Pops? Wow, it's really stuck? Pops? Haha, <laughs> Pops has forgotten about the mission. Get the ball! What can we do to get it? A ladder? No, Phoebe. Kids shouldn't climb on the roof. It's too dangerous. I know. Why don't we let Groovy help us? Which toy can Groovy transform into to recover the ball? Helicopter? A car? Or a ship? That's right, kids. A helicopter can fly to the roof. To the rescue! Well done, Groovy! Look, Phoebe, the ball! Thank you, Groovy, you're the best! Let's play again as a team. While Phoebe hits the ball, Groovy will help us count to ten. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Great!
Hustling, baby, you got some adventures. Come with us and learn together the lessons. trying to say something? Oh yes, subscribe kids! Groovy the Martian, official channel. 